Hello everybody, uh, I've got another TKG4 on the bench. Um, it's a pretty dirty board, but I'll clean it up after I repair it. Um, I just want to see how bad it is first. Um, it doesn't really say anything on the, uh, on the, on the repair ticket, so we're just going to put it up on the screen and turn it on. I've checked to make sure all the, the EEPROMs seem like they're okay. Everything seems like it's on. I've added a rainbow cable and my adapter and let's see where we go. First thing that looks to me like is is RAM. So two one one fours on the video board, I would suspect. All right, let me try jumping in real quick. Two uh, P and two R. I'm going to start with two P. see what we get. Same. Uh, 2R. Yeah, so it looks like both of them still have problems here. Okay. Probably not the way I'm in. Let's see. Let's look again. So it looks good. And then, you know, that could even be an EEPROM. Let me turn this board back over. Grab my little high score save kit. Pop it in. And let's see what we got. Alright, let's see. Trying to come up. Interesting. So maybe it's just a ram. Huh. Well, I'm not quite sure what we got there. I need to take a picture of that when it comes up. Do I get on Donkey Kong or Junior? That's Junior. That's Donkey Kong. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been working on this uh, this TKG4 Donkey Kong set, two box set, um, and I've determined that both both boards have problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one board at a time, marry it in with a good uh, good set, and then work on that one and get it fixed. So this side I'm going to take it off here. And I've got a good Donkey Kong board set in the other room. And I'm going to put this 
CPU board on that set and then repair this and then I'll I'll do the same with the video board so it's going to take a little bit but hey why not right so I just got to get this off the back plate get both of them off the back plate and uh, start working on them both these are easy to take off as long as you don't snap these guys here. the boards put this in the other room and I'll go get my good set and then I'll be right back all right so here's my fully working set let's uh, let's put that up on the monitor and we'll see um, just make sure it's all working before I start marrying it with these other twos uh, these guys I'll, I'll mark them I know which which are which I'll just write the numbers down let's see so the set I'm working on is B63733. And the CPU board is C9319. All right. Let's pop this up on the on the video monitor and see what we got. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, it's working. The blue is <laughs> blue is still out on my monitor. There we go. What happens is I, I've explained this before. I got one pin in the VGA connector in the back, that uh, or the CGA connector, and it just it doesn't always make good contact. So, that works perfect there. All right, so let me take oh, the video board. Let's look at the video board first, since it's closest to me. And we'll put his video board on the set. Let's see what we get here. Okay. So we've got some scrambled uh, scrambled graphics. You know, we'll, we'll just fix this one first. Let me pull my other set off the back plate too, and then we'll, we'll get to this. Okay, so I've got the uh, my good CPU board and the bad video board here married. Whoops, well, that's interesting. Okay, so that looks like we have a bad EEPROM.
this one. Okay. That's that's crazy. It wasn't bad before. I got my blue, my red, my green. All right. So I've got a bad EPROM at, uh, wow. What in the world? This is flaky. What's going on here? Looks like uh, 3P. Let me see if I've got another set here with a good 3P. That's kind of odd. It seemed good before. I didn't have a color issue. This is something new. P also still has that problem. That's usually two or uh, three N and two P. Let's try three N. Could be the prom maybe. I don't know what it is, but the colors are not. Huh? Nope. It's kind of interesting. All right. Is the prom bad? Color problem, maybe? Wow. Alright, well, I haven't seen this happen before. Usually, that's one of those EPROMs here. That was weird, it just kind of. Put the prompts back in. What the heck else could it be? Oh, what in the world? Ah, okay. So, I think I've got a corroded logic chip on here somewhere. Sure. I have a bad leg on a chip that's corroded and just sometimes making contact. Let me see if I can track that down. We'll put this back up down on the uh, game board and we'll, we'll probably run a little bit. Okay, what I've figured out here is uh, this chip here, 3, 3S. 3S and 2S, I think. I think we've got well, everything seems to be okay now, but it wasn't. Uh, the video all came back after probing these pins down here. Let's 
It was like something... Uh, very odd. Well, I don't trust this at all now. So, if I look back up at the screen, I've got all my characters back. Random fireballs are kind of their collision. Collision uh, detection or something with those fireballs. Those fireballs are just falling. But, look at the screen now. And um, all I did was I think shorted a couple, couple legs here on 3S. It was looking pretty darn bad now. Now it comes up. And the colors were all gone, which uh, I think something's flaky with this 3S chip. I'm going to have to look at it a little hard and maybe let it cool off and come back. Because, boy, it looked bad. And now... Now all the signals seem to be good. So, yeah. Very odd. What do you do when you find something like that? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cool off the board somehow and see, see if the same issue comes back. There's there's definitely a problem with the fireballs, but I'm, I'm not really worried about that yet. Um, I was more worried about the uh, the sprites were split in half. You can still see they're not always quite right, but they came magically together. So that means something else, something's failed here in an unusual way. We also had these, you know, we had these stripes before. It was like these, these uh, two EPROMs were just completely out of circuit. So I'm going to have to look at that. I think it's all the same corner of the board. Um, let me show you down here. Okay, these two EPROMs are the <coughs> the colors for the for the text and for the screen. You know, the those those um, those lines are these two EPROMs, and it was like these two EPROMs were completely out of circuit there for a minute, and I could pull them out, put in good ones, no no, no difference at all. Uh, so they weren't being driven for some reason, uh, and then I had split sprites. And when I, when I probed these pins on this and cr shorted a couple together, um, everything popped back together. So definitely right in this area, I got some problems. But I just don't know what they are yet. So it's time to grab the schematics, see where all these are connected, see what drives these, and see if I can pull up a leg maybe. And uh, probably can t pull up the chip select or something. If the chip select is bad on these, um, I don't I don't know how it's going to affect it. But I've never seen that particular problem, so this will be this will be interesting to look at. Uh, let me grab my schematics and I'll be right back. All right, so was checking the enable signal for these and they look like they're doing fine so I have no idea even if I took that enable signal out which is pin 18 all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen And if I take pin 18, what happens if I just ground it? Mm, 
it just messes with my uh, that's interesting so if I put it to plus five what do I get hmm. yeah it doesn't do it doesn't remove the colors so I'm not sure why let's see what happens take this one completely out 24, 3, 2, 1, 20, 19, 18. I just pop that up. What happens? Yeah. And we still got colors. Oh, sort of. Okay, so if I take that enable line and I force it high, the colors disappear. I mean, it's like the EPROMs are out. So where does that go? That enable comes from... It's the 256H line, which would be 1P pin 3, 1P pin 3, 1, 2, 3, what happens, 1P pin 3, I drive that high. That's a that's what it was like. It was like the 256 H sickle had just gone away. What else does that feed? Well, maybe Maybe one P was the problem. One, two, three, four. Well, if I take one P, if I take one P completely, that <laughs> suck. Now I won't. Well, let's let's do this. Let's call cool one P off and see if anything changes. Nope. Oh, I hate when I hate problems like this. They're very hard to find because now there's no problem. Let's also look here. What I'm doing is I'm taking compressed duster, and if, if you turn it upside down, it, it'll work as freeze spray. Um, you can see it froze that chip pretty good. Nothing's changing on the screen at all. All right, time to poke around a little more. See what else I can come up with. Okay, I'm back. What I'm going to do, since the other board is behaving for some reason, I am going to uh, concentrate on the CPU board and let that other one cool off and see see what happens with it when we put it back together with the. Uh, with the fixed CPU board.
Use my kit then. All right, now I've got my high score save kit in there. I've got these separated by cardboard. Let's see what we get up on the screen. There we go. Now we, oh, we got no green because we're missing a. Resistor or a transistor? Is that right? No. I don't. Are we missing the transistor? Hmm. No. Okay. Well. This is interesting. Let's use my Z80 out of my kit. Pop that son of a gun in there. All right. Well, Normally I would say that that's a RAM problem on the second board, but we know that when the high score save uh, kit popped up, when we used the high score save kit on the complete board, it showed all the RAMs were good. So um, it's probably maybe a buffer. Or uh, something like that. Let's see, what are we missing here? I'd say it's probably an interface chip, some sort. A 245 or a something like that. It's not allowing it to read from the uh, from the good video board. We know this is a good video board. It's mine. Um, the blue is missing because, well, it's my monitor. I'll be right back. All right, so I cleaned the board and I still have the same problem. Uh, you know, of course. Hold on. There we go. So, you know, I've been looking at these two chips. They seem fine. I'm not sure if it's these 367s or what. Um, I'm going to have to track down. There, there's obviously something stuck on the bus. I should, I could probably put the fluke on it, but I, I think I'm just going to check these chips. They look pretty, they don't look all that good. Sometimes seven A I should see what pin 14 on these do. They're all stuck low. Pin 15, I mean.
I'm going to probe around a little bit more. And um, if I find anything, I'll get back to you. All right, well, I am back. This is interesting. Um, I looked up. I installed this. Uh, I have a diagnostic chip here. And I installed it and rebooted and I'll show you what it came up with. Just what it's supposed to. It showed every CRC bad for four A, A, B, and C. But it came up. Why, I don't know. Everything else seems to be working. So I tested the EEPROMs in my burner. This is the first thing I should have done. Whenever you get a board that's not working, test the EEPROMs. You know, the high school score save kit was booting up, but then it would uh, it would reset, it would go blank. Um, and maybe that was just having to do with the uh, with the um, video board. Now, now the video board seems to be acting right. The CPU board, I've done nothing to it. Um, very interesting. So, I think I just had bad EEPROMs, but I'm going to test them all. I'm going to, uh, I'll program them. And uh, program them, get the right code in them, and we'll put them back in the board and see what happens. We'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. Well, we uh, we just got just about got these uh, all programmed. We threw them in the burner, erased them. I put new labels on them. Uh, let's see what's I got. One more. It's still burning. Programming, and it should be done any second. Very interesting. So we had. All that weirdness was because of bad EEPROMs. How could that, you know, <coughs> excuse me, all that weirdness was from bad EEPROMs? All right, we got the last one just programmed. Uh, wow, I also found on my other board set, we had that weird fireball that was just going, after the blue barrel came down and it dropped the first fireball in the oil bucket. Uh, in the oil drum, that thing would just take off, and it would just it would just roll this way, you know, across the screen, and come back, roll again. Turns out uh, I put my high score save kit in, and it found a bad RAM at 3B. Replaced that bad RAM on my board, and then uh, that video board's working fine too. So I don't know. <clears throat> Very strange Donkey Kong repair. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what what I had going on, but uh, we'll make sure everything gets tested. We've got a new CPU in here, clean EEPROMs, you know, uh, correct EEPROMs. The video board we've uh, we've tested; it works fine now. And um, yeah, very strange. I thought maybe I had a, a bad uh, DMA chip or some of this in here was bad, but no. Bad heat problems. All right, so let me put it up on the board or on the on the uh, monitor, and we'll we'll see how it looks. All right, time to fire it up. Let's see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So. Still have some kind of problem here. Hold on. Let's see. Oh yeah. All right. Huh. Well.
Okay, now I have some problem. I have a problem in the uh, in the sound section. Put the other video board on here. And we will see. This is the one that came with it. Maybe we got another bad ram or something. Like I said, this is this has been a strange repair. So far, really, the only thing I've had to change was aprons. Hmm. Right. Okay, let me put in a score safe kit. See if it makes a difference. Maybe I need a socket. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, there we go. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure that's in right. Wow. Okay, definitely. CPU socket. All right. That's weird. All right, let's put in a different CPU socket. Huh. Because all the RAMs are okay, all the ROMs are okay. Okay, I reseated the two soundy proms. Oh, and removed the 8035. Let me put that back. Yeah. Okay. Could that be? Let's try a different 8035. That shouldn't make a difference. It really shouldn't. That's so weird. Hmm. 
you know what? Let me change these two ribbon cables out. We put, uh, put a different pair on and see what we get. I guess that's possible. Swapped cables. Okay. Let's put my apron back in. So confusing. Well, now it seems to be working. Connections, e proms, what the hell else? Very odd. All right, so we changed these ribbon cables out, and now it plays properly. These were bad. Uh, reseated the the uh, sound ROMs. New CPU. A different 8035. Clean the board completely. And now it's behaving. The video board we had weird problems with too. Um, I don't know what was going on there, but uh, I'll tell you what. What I did is I had this on with my good board, and um, we found a bad RAM on my good board. So my good board set wasn't good. It had a bad uh, 2114 which we replaced and uh, now it's now it's behaving also so we got two working boards I don't see any more problems here I'm gonna let this burn in what a strange strange repair this has been um, yeah I guess the bad EEPROMs probably just didn't let it run right, and that's why things would disappear. It could be that one of the one of the EEPROMs was just, uh, I don't know, between that and the bad RAM. Anyway, I'm going to let this sit on the bench. I'm going to play with it. I'm going to pull these cables, make sure nothing happens here. And I'll put it back on the back plane. We'll let it, on the back plate, we'll let it run on the back plate overnight. See if it resets or anything happens. It looks it looks really steady now on the on the on the board. The other thing I had I didn't realize this is I had the test switch on, which is which is the service switch, and that may have been part of the problem when I first tried to boot up with the 
kit, you know, the kit, um, I don't know how it reacts with, with the test switch on. Anyway, these are going in the trash. I'll put this back on the back plate and then we'll, we'll, we'll let it burn in for the night. There it is. Okay, well thanks for watching, good night.